What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test more Yeti gadgets. Let's see what I got this time. I got here Yeti Thunder 45, lift it up, there should be two holes in there that is going to pop right into there. Well if it doesn't fit, all I have to do is just flip it open, push it out a little bit. Oh wow, check this out, this is adjustable, super cool. So I'm going to put it in, into these holes, hopefully you guys can see. All the way in and then just lock it, nice, don't have to unscore anything. And same thing on the other side. Again, flip this open like that and it can go flip open on this side as well. And to keep the wheels together so they don't fall out, it comes with this little belt, push it to and tighten it up. Now these wheels will not come off. Same thing on the other side. And when we lift it, now the wheels not gonna come off, it's part of the cooler. So cool. And also, not really sure what this is, pretty sure it's handle to pull it from the side, yep. And you got here a rope handle as well, I'm not really sure how to put this thing together. It doesn't really turn unless you lift it and turn, but still super cool. You can put it on a really, really big coolers and take it to the beach because the tires are pretty thick. It's not going to stuck. Now, a lot of people love to sit down on a cooler. So you can buy one of this Yeti. Is this film glue on? I think so. So you can peel it away and stick it on a cooler. So that way it will be soft. Why not? Let's try it out. See if it's actually going to stick really, really well. So if you're going to use your Yeti as a seat, now you have a little bit softer spot. Does not give you a lot of foam, but better than nothing, I guess. Now you got the bench, but it does not have a back rest. No problem. Buy one of those things. How does this go though? Not really sure. Oh, you open it a little bit it in and guess what this gadget does not interfere with that and you can still open the cooler get whatever you want doesn't open all the way okay now we're going somewhere we have soft pad we have a bench rest we have all everything we need in the cooler also somebody maybe can pull you and you can sit down like that and get to the destination so besides having all that stuff somebody can pull you with comfort also if you go fishing you know two smaller people can sit on it i like the tires makes it a lot taller so i can sit very very comfortably on this cooler so that bench actually works really good with the tires wow i didn't think it's going to be that comfortable so definitely transforming in my cooler like almost unrecognizable let's see what else i have for the next gadget, you got here Yeti cup holder. So upgrade your Yeti cooler even more. Push it in, boom. Now you can stick one of those Yeti cups coolers in here on top of it. So cool. So you can customize your cooler so many times. Yeti is kind of cool. Gadget got here a cup holder for those Yeti or any kind of cooler mugs. So let's open it up and see what it's all about. I can't find my Yeti cooler mug, but it also doesn't have to be a Yeti one. Any kind of cooler mug that can fit in here. And check this out, you got front flashlight, press it again, you got lantern, you see 360 right here and down here. So you can use it as a lantern, press it again, you have lantern and points which way. And at the same time, you can sip your coffee, I like, the probably the lantern the best so you can see what's going on without interrupting your coffee sipping or whatever else you're sipping but if you need to point somewhere for far away what's in there you can also press that so this is a really cool gadget as well this is a 40 dollar bucket this idea about five dollar bucket comes with the lid actually lid you have to buy separately i think so as you can see the 40 dollar bucket is a bit 
bigger and also much much thicker so we're gonna do a quick durability test also separately you can buy a bucket lid from Yeti as well and check this out load of bucket lid there's a rubber piece so whenever you close it whoa this is awesome it closed it really well and this honeycomb design octagon side here looks really durable so this is could be good for the aquariums water changes and stuff like that i might be using it by the way i'm getting a really big aquarium pretty soon so this bucket probably will be really cool to have so as you can see i can sit on it and not worry about it versus this one if i put the lid on this bucket those cheap buckets in hardware store if i sit on it it actually holds up pretty good what if i stand on it not bad too it's like bends over on me a little bit versus this one i wouldn't stand on the bucket because it's not that very durable and very steady this one is much much more durable as you can see but just another test we're gonna do one heat on the bucket just to see what happens it bent over didn't break but bent really easily versus this one oh it hurts me it hurts me to do this to this bucket much much more durable as you can see it bends and flex so even if you drop it it's going to be lasting a lot longer i like this bucket i don't even want to hurt it because i don't want to spend another 40 dollars on a bucket but if you think you want to get high quality bucket and you have that kind of extra money to spend you know what maybe it's a really good idea for going fishing because you get a really tall and very doable seat on top of it and also if you want fishing bucket you can buy this attachment for that bucket too let me open it up and show you it's a little skirt for the bucket put it over and push it in oh by the way look there is a rubber piece so that way it's not so slippery compared to the other bucket i guess that's it that's how you want to push it in because don't no way it's gonna slide over the top because it barely fits in here it kind of makes sense so now you can put your fishing tools inside here this tops is probably for here looks like it's for that you see how it puts in perfectly but i'm not sure 100 percent what it's for still super cool though but you know what i'm not done yet i have another yeti attachment the handle comes off it's super cool let's see how it will slide in boom open it so all this diff whoa super cool look at this little lip right here so that way you can put this attachment in so you can put bigger pieces in there or maybe even fish and then put this in put other things in there and then close it up very cool wow i kind of like it i'm so glad i got it again if i wasn't making that video it's a bit too expensive but at the same time it is high quality bucket i think it's kind of worth it if you have the money to spend for the next gadget you're not going to believe what this is yep they have made a dog ball by yeti how cool is that look they even have a sticker and yeah that looks pretty high quality it says yeti on this side so if you collect all the products by yeti you might enjoy this product as well that's beautiful i always need dog balls i have four dogs and what i like about this dog ball so far is that this has a rubber in a really really good one so it does not want to move at all i really have to slide it so i think this is perfect for water ball so that way they don't spill it over easily and make a mess i think the best part about this dog ball it is really thick and it's also really really deep too so it holds a lot of water 
but at the same time a little bit steady let me try to push it he's like my ball if i push it you see it's pretty good guys do you like your new water ball i don't think you care this design is a little bit better because it has wide bottom so he cannot step on it and spill everything guys why'd you do that you're always making a mess <laughs>